she asked me the question, Palmer, why do you think you got the MS? What do you mean, why do I think I got this? Are you accusing me of doing so? How do you mean, right? And she left, but the question didn't leave me and little did she know or I know that that question would become my North Star for the next 30 years and remains true today. How is it possible that this ordinary woman like me could reverse this seemingly incurable condition that I had been told by six neurologists at storied institutions was there was nothing I could do except take medication and prepare for life in a wheelchair. So I spent my days immersed in PubMed and I found this exciting science that should have made front page news that hasn't even made back page news. And you may be familiar with the first piece because there are two things that I want to mention. The first is epigenetics. The word literally means above the gene. And for years, we've been told that our DNA is our destiny. You're destined to get whatever your parents were afflicted with. And it's a very much a victim mentality, right? Because there's nothing you can do. So why bother? The science, the relatively new science of epigenetics shows it's our environments that matter most. So instead of our cells just switching on this DNA expression of MS, no, the cells take cues from the environment. So everything that you eat, drink, think, and do tells those genes whether or not to be expressed. You know, I've, been, I've talked about the states of the nervous system with patients. I've gone over somatic exercises with patients that have had trauma. Um, I am so excited to talk about the role of inflammation and those adaptive immune patterns, which I see in just about everybody I see. Three months ago, I started with a functional medicine doctor after 10 years of chronic health issues that um, I hadn't gotten help with and figured out a lot on my own. Um, but when I started with that doctor, he diagnosed three autoimmune disorders, um, gut infections, viruses that are overactive in my system, loss of oral tolerance, which is my, my body's having an immune reaction to over 50% of the foods that I eat. Food and gut health enormously important in the equation. You, you can't imagine that what you eat each and every day has an impact on your immunity, on your gut health, but it does. And on the flip side, people, practitioners, uh, my own experience shows, people heal 60 to 80% of the way just when they start with food, and sometimes 100%, especially if you're just new to developing autoimmunity you are way more in control of your health outcomes than your doctor has ever told you, than you may have imagined. And if I accomplish anything here today with you, I want to transmit the certainty that hope is real, healing is possible, and I'm not just, you know, this nice little uh, remission, radical remission, spontaneous healing. And that's why I was insistent on sharing the stories of 12 other doctors and practitioners who also recovered, fully recovered from these quote unquote, incurable autoimmune conditions.